what is up guys Northset here welcome to my channel thanks for, thanks for the support in the previous videos much appreciated uh, reminder quick reminder you have until tomorrow evening uh, European time to enter the raffle for the latch pack then I will make maybe I'll have some surprise for you yeah I'll keep that as a secret for now all right now shout out to my uh, newest channel member uh, Kret and also my current channel members uh, I will leave your names in the pin comment and uh, thanks so much for the support it, me it means a lot to me really it does now uh, this will be a twofold video uh, it will not be a showcase because showcase of companions sh would uh, in indicate that I have them and I can actually test them on the dummies or in combat so uh, it was brought to my attention by Reiner uh, if you're not subscribed to Reiner, a uh, great guy, my friend, uh, go to his channel, uh, you know, just smash that subscribe button and show some support to the guy. Uh, like I said, it was brought to my attention that two new companions were indeed shown, appeared in the Zen store, and I'm going to show you how they look like now. And also there's an issue with them currently. Now, uh, on this account, I don't have a lot of Zen, however, I will get to that. So if you go to the Companions, uh, what's new aside the Hellhound uh, is uh, Chicken Mancer Arin and Arinus of Avernus, okay? So uh, let's start with Arinus of Avernus, okay? Uh, it comes standardly with the Bonding Runestone 7, and uh, I will get to the and, uh, powers in a second, okay? So it's tradable between players, hence, I would buy it for AD and just uh, also I'm planning to give away a few of these uh, in the f next month if they appear. So this was reported to Chris Whiteside that we can't actually buy it. So on my other account I have around 35,000 Zen and I still wasn't, uh, uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't buy a purchase uh, for the Zen. Okay, otherwise I will show you the how they work uh, in um, real environment okay so this is just this will just be a preview and also in the next part of the video I discovered a little bug uh, with the hellhound that gives actually uh, increases the drop of family crest and chaotic writings in Valanjas but so if you want to stick around I will show you the bug that happened to me so since I'm giving away uh, <laughs> again surprise I will be giving away some of these hellhounds in the next giveaway Maybe on Sunday, maybe not. We'll see. Wait and see until tomorrow. Uh, and that will be the second part of the video. But for now, we're going to just focus on these two. So it's either pushed by mistake or it's just a bug. So Chris is aware of that. They will rectify it, I hope. Or they will remove them all together. If not, yeah. If But I think there are plans for awareness. Okay, so Arinus. Arinus of awareness. I'm going to go to this and inspect the companion. Now, looks pretty cool. Uh, that doesn't matter to a lot of people, but yeah, cool looking angel. Uh, now we have two, uh, two, one defense power, one enhancement. Uh, enhancement is not so much inter interesting to me. You have a chance to increase your combat advantage by 2000 and your companion critical avoidance by up to 4% for 15 seconds when the companion is near. Mind you, this is a rare, it's not a legendary one, so it's maximum ter rank 1. Okay, so it's a blue blue quality and we, uh, regarding the defense power I think it's pretty cool it's utility defense and an equip power is increased damage resistance against demons by 6% on a legendary level or uh, epic level or leg on a legendary level it should be 10% but I'm only speculating now so if it's 10% that's pretty good for infernal citadel or wherever the demons are it's up to you so I think it's this one is actually you know not so much useless so it's not an augment, it's it's a summoned companion, so keep that in mind. So I did find this interesting, uh, unfortunately I cannot try it out, but uh, I will, I will, I promise. So if we combine this 10% uh, damage resistance against demons, 10% and you put a uh, war overload, overload uh, ward uh, against demons for, uh, I don't know, 10-15%, well you do the math, it's pretty nice defensive stat if you wish defensive uh, damage damage resistance okay sorry about the sniffles I, I caught something no it's not the coronavirus don't worry I guess I hope I fucking hope it's not it's not so uh, this is Arenas of awareness um, 
and uh, I think I show you everything. I can show you stats and powers. Now this is interesting. Bloody Spiral grants you the uh, grants you and Arena temporary hit points. I'm not, I don't know how much, so this is just a preview. When we get to that, I will show you uh, when I have the companions. When below 50% health, the Arena's Bloody Spiral power, which is this one, provides twice as many temporary hit points. Now I can, I think it's, I would think that it was only for him, for the companion, or if it counts for both of us. So I don't know how much temporary hit points it's going to give you, but if it's twice as many, when you drop below 50% health, you're going to get that temporary hit points shield, but only if he is summoned. Keep that in mind. And we have a jab that's a, that's a, a you know, probably a single target uh, that deals damage. Uh, is it overpowered? If it's not, look, looks like Lashing Blade to me. Doesn't matter. So, um, but in summary, this is it. This is, it's an interesting companion, really it is, at least for the defense power, you know. And who knows, I don't know how many temporary hit points it's going to provide, you know, because this is kind of a different companion, you know. Uh, so, again, this is how it looks like on a rare quality. And now we're going to close it, and we're going to move on to Chicken Mancer. Now, ch <laughs> Chicken Mancer is a little guy here with chicken, okay, so you can see that from my... <laughs> from my thumbnail, the, the chicken that pokes the wolf's head, alright, so it's a halfling and uh, if we go to his uh, stats powers and whatnot, so we are getting enhancement, chance to hit, uh, chance on hit to reduce an enemy critical avoidance up to 2015 seconds not very good, I don't like this, personal opinion, don't get me wrong but offense power <laughs> It has 10% chance on encounter used to turn a minion into a, f a chicken for 10 seconds. Now that, that's fucking funny, okay? Now I don't know if he's gonna turn him into a regular chicken, because it says here that he's infested with chickens, okay? So that's nasty. That that's some nasty business, okay? Uh, that seemingly appear of nowhere. Uh, whereas some have found found uh, see see f would see this as a flaw. Others consider it's a gift. Blah blah. Anyway, this little dude is infected with chicken and uh, well, a 10% chance when encounter used to turn a minion target into a chicken for 10 seconds now I was wondering if, if it's one target or more so let me show you uh, what that means now our, again reminder this is rank 1 on a rare quality so on a legendary maybe it will be longer 15 seconds and a higher chance I don't know I really don't know uh, stats and powers now we have cluck <laughs> Cluck and dagger, so it's not cloak and dagger, it's cluck when the chicken actually pokes something, you know, uh, picks something, I don't know the word. Um, so, throws a dagger at the target, each dagger has a chance of summoning a chicken, so um, I don't know if how many targets <laughs> can he actually hit, but I find it really, I just want to know how many, how much damage that those chickens will do. The minions will turn into a chicken. Chickens summoned from Clock and Dagger, which is this one here, first power, have a chance to be feral and deal 20% increased damage. So it's going to be a regular chicken and it has a chance to be feral, to go crazy and chicken crazy and deal 20% increased damage. Okay? So I don't know, those chickens will probably do 20% increased damage and he has one foul swoop. Uh, calls forth a large hand to charge a single target, knocking them down and dealing physical damage, meaning he will uh, summon a bunch of chickens for a soup. Sorry, vegans. Um, <laughs> and they're going to knock that target, so not really good. I don't know how much damage he's going to do. Okay. So that was uh, Earl the Chicken Mancer. I don't know. And of course, for this, it needs to be summoned. Not a good thing. Still, um, I do. I'm I am cu currently interested into this uh, um, encounter. How many minion targets can be turned into chickens? Of course, larger demons, uh, bosses, etc., will not be turned into chickens. Only minions. So the, the trash mob, basically. So we'll see how that works. Not the best, but still, it is how it is. So this was the showcase. Uh, now. I cannot buy it even with Zen on my other account, one of my other accounts, 
and uh, of course when I get them I don't want to bother Chris to just jump and give give me that crap now there's no need I will fo make a follow-up video and also now we're gonna jump and I'm gonna show you what happened to me when I hit the cap uh, with actual uh, Hellhound and uh, we will be actually right back stay tuned here we are guys uh, we are in Valenka stronghold and this won't take long so this is just a bug I encountered uh, while reaching my uh, weekly hole for the new campaign uh, it's about a hellhound uh, who doesn't know what it is it increases the drop of family crests and chaotic writings in Valenka's by 10 percent now mind you I have already hit the weekly hole however uh, what happened to me actually is that I was at 170 okay now just to remind you quickly uh, weekly quests are giving 25 Time and much to do. family crests and these guys are giving That's five right however so I was missing uh, only five to to hit my weekly hole but since I have uh, of course hellhound senses equipped I was getting two family uh, two chaotic writings, uh, family crest, pardon me, uh, extra. So when I, when I came here to turn it in, not only did it not give me the five that I earned, it, it ate all of them. Five plus two, it ate seven and reset the quest. Okay? Meaning that I had to do the quest again. Now, uh, it could be that you will guys will be mixing it, uh, doing the weeklies, doing the, uh, the dailies, the repeatable ones. Uh, just pay pay attention so you know I just want to save you some time with this um, again he will give you two extra uh, family crests on top of five and on 25 I think it's uh, I don't know 10 percent maybe five if I'm not mistaken I don't know so uh, basically if you do six of these weeklies one two three four five six times 25 that's 150 and basically you will be only missing uh, five of these okay so we add to those five two extras uh, and we technically get instead of 25 we're getting uh, 35 so it's just gonna reject it it's not gonna count as your weekly hole so it says you have reached the limit I cannot show you but I can tell you and then I just had to do the quest again so I can hit the weekly hole before the Monday so I can progress with the boons etc etc so that's all about uh, the hellhound for now uh, because I'm, I'm kinda giving these guys away I'm planning to give you away again now I'm gonna spoil a surprise I'm planning to give away uh, a couple of hellhounds and stuff that you need for mod 18 in the new giveaway uh, however I thought this was important so keep in mind it's not a big deal you, you're still getting the uh, crescents but you will not get family crests uh, which are needed for awareness campaign okay all right so that's it really short I hope you understood uh, this has also been reported uh, so it will be checked when I do not know and thank you for watching tomorrow is the raffle enjoy the video and uh, if you made it this far Thank you all for the major support, as I said in the beginning. North is out. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.